Hi, um, this is a quick video on how to measure components using a digital multimeter, uh, the resistance, uh, capacitance, and inductance of uh, various components. Um, so here we have a 3.3 kilo ohm resistor. We have here an 11 kilo ohm resistor. Uh, we have a, a one microfarad uh, capacitor, and we have a one micro Henry inductor. Um, so first I'm going to measure the resistor resistance of this resistor here. The first thing to note is that it is, it is really important to take the component out of the circuit before measuring any component, no matter what it is, um, because uh, the value of the component could change depending on if it's in the circuit or out of the circuit. You want to measure the true value, so you have to take it out, out of the circuit. So to illustrate this, uh, how the value of a component can change in a circuit. I'm going to try to measure the value of this 3.3 kilo ohm resistor inside of this circuit. Okay, first I'm going to turn this to uh, resistance and if you notice it's on the highest value and I'm going to work my way down. So uh, it doesn't matter which way you put the leads. So I'm just going to measure and I'm just going to turn it down so I can get a better value. And here you can see we get a value of 2.52 kilo ohms, which is quite a bit off from the actual value, which is supposed to be around 3.3 kilo ohms. The reason for this is because uh, uh, this multimeter is actually measuring the resistance of both of these uh, of, of these components in, in parallel, both resistors. Um, so what you want to do is you want to take this outside out of the actual circuit, and you want to measure it just out of the circuit. So I'm going to turn it back up. Okay, so here as you can see we got 3.27, which is right about around the actual value of the resi resistor. It is the actual value of the resistor. Um, so that's how you should measure uh, resistors. Um, <clears throat> now we're going to take a look at how to measure capacitors. Um, so the first thing I, I'm going to do here is I'm going to turn this to capacitance. And I'm going to ch change the leads here. <clears throat> So the red lead goes into COM and the black lead goes into up here. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to look for the positive side of this capacitor. And it might not be visible here, but this, this turns out to be the positive um, right here. So, <clears throat> so I want to match up uh, the positive with red and the negative with black. Uh, here we go. And okay. Here we get a value of about one microfarad. We can turn this down to get a more uh, precise value. <laughs> and here you can see I get a value of around 1.14 microfarads, which is pretty acceptable. Uh, now I'm going to try to measure the inductance of this inductor. So I'm going to switch uh, multimeter. So we're going to be using this uh, multimeter to measure the inductance of this inductor. I'm going to power it on and uh, I'm going to turn it on the highest value. <clears throat> so this doesn't really matter which order you do it in. Uh, so I'm just going to connect this lead to one side and this lead to, to another side. So looking at the multimeter, I get 0 0.01 uh, Henry's, so I'm going to turn it down. Uh, and we get a value of uh, around uh, 0 0.064 micro Henry's which is roughly around the value of uh, of the, the inductor at 68 micro micro Henry's. 